we are going to talk about how to transfer how to program 8051 so as to transfer data serially okay so we will be talking about uh, serial transfer of uh, characters so before that let's refresh uh, some things so that we get to know the algorithm better so we had already uh, talked about the baud rate so if you want a particular baud rate what you do is in 8051 we know that the crystal frequency is 11.0592 megahertz and uh, that will be divided by 12 and that will be given timer normally but when you are using um, serial communication this divided by 12 that frequency will again by uh, be divided by uh, 32 by the UART uh, universal asynchronous receiver transmitter so the resultant frequency to the timer for serial communication by using UART will be 28,800 hertz. So you can just uh, divide and see that is 11.0592 divided by 12. That value divided by 32 will give you 28,800 hertz. So that is the uh, frequency available for the timer during serial communication. Now, if you are given a particular baud rate, what will you do? You will um, find out that is 28,800 divided by that particular baud rate will give you a particular value. So that should be the value that is to be loaded into TH1. So minus that value. So here it is 3. So minus 3, the resultant hex of minus 3 should be loaded into uh, TH1. So you will find the value that is to be loaded to uh, TH1 by dividing the baud rate, uh, sorry, uh, by dividing 28,800 uh, by the baud rate. So that is one thing we want to uh, revise. Another thing is that you have a register called SPUF, uh, which is a buffer register. Uh, that is used for serial communication. So, if you want to transfer a character uh, serially, then you will have to keep that particular uh, character in the register SPUF with a start bit and a stop bit. So, that is another thing we talked about. Then you have the SCON register. So, SCON register. Uh, is used to program the start bit, stop bit and the data bits of data frame. So, in this uh, we have different modes of operation but then uh, we will be talking about okay. um, let's see here only mode 1 serial mode so, serial mode 1 means SM0 is 0 and SM1 is 1. So, only SM1 is 1 and uh, that is in the case of SM. You have SM0, SM1, SM2. These three SM1 should be 1 in the case of serial mode because it is 0, 1. And SM2 is for multiprocessor uh, communication and which we are not dealing with so sm2 is always zero so if we consider the first three bits higher order first three bits sm0 is zero sm1 is one sm2 is zero and if you want to transfer data the r enable should be made equal to one so let's see what r enable was r enable is receive enable so only if R enable is equal to 1 then only 8051 is ready to receive the data so that should be 1 so these are some of the things we already discussed but uh, we need to uh, 
uh, know these to understand the algorithm for the serial transform. So, this is 0, 1, 0, 1. So, higher order nibble should be 5, 0, 1, 0, 1. So, that is uh, 5 and the lower order nibble should be 0. So, it is 50 H. 5, 0H. So, that is the value that should be loaded into the SCON register for uh, serial communication. So, we know what SPF is. Uh, that is the uh, register where you are going to load the character which you want to transfer and SCON should be loaded with the value 550H. Why? Because it is mode 1 operation and R enable should be 1 to enable the receiver and all the rest should be equal to 0. So, that is another thing we revised and transmit interrupt. So, transmit interrupt becomes 1 when the uh, 8051 has successfully transferred the 8 bit of data. So, uh, we will be waiting for the transmit enable to become 1 after the transfer of data. So, when you are starting the transfer, previously the TI may be equal to 1 because it has already transferred a byte of data. Okay, so now suppose TI is equal to 1 and we have already received that data. So, you need to make that TI equal to 0 to start the transfer of data. So, first TI will be made equal to 0 by clear uh, instruction and after clear instruction uh, TI will be made equal to 0 and after clearing TI uh, what we do is we will wait for TI to be equal to 1 so that the uh, transmission of data is complete. So, these are some of the things you should know before uh, talking about the programming. So, the first uh, step in the algorithm is the T mode register is loaded with the value 20 H. So, T mode and 20. What does T mode and 20 mean? Uh, so, 20 means 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So, that means it is timer. 1, timer 0 is 0, timer 1 is 1 and it is mode 2. Okay, so that is 20 H means. So, it is timer 1 and mode 2. That is the 8 bit auto reload uh, mode. So, that is set to set the baud rate and then TH1 should be loaded with the value of so, TH1, how do you load? 28,800 divided by the baud rate, you will get a value minus that value will be loaded into TH1. We told, uh, talked about that. Then, the SCON register should be loaded with the value 50 H. We discussed how we got the value 50 um, because R enable and SM1 was equal to 1, rest everything was equal to 0. So, that is SCON value. Then TR1 is set to 1 to start the timer. Just uh, like always, uh, timer is started by set B uh, TR1. So, that is done. And after setting the timer on, uh, what will happen? The timer will continue to uh, count. And we will wait for the successful transmission of data. So, after the successful transmission of data, what happens? Um, T1 should be equal to 1. So, uh, we to told that if there was, uh, if T1 was previously set to 1, then it should be cleared first and then only wait for the T1 to be equal to 1. So, for that, first we will clear T, uh, sorry, T, not T1, TI. Uh, clear TI first and then data is transferred by passing it to the SBUF register and then wait for 
Ti to be equal to 1. So, first two resistors loaded with a value 20H. TH1 is loaded with a value to set the baud rate. SCON resistor is set with the value 50H. TR1 is um, set to 1 to start the timer. Clear TI. Then transfer the character to the S buff and wait for Ti to be equal to 1 so that we know that the successful transmission of data, data communication is over. So that are the, those are the 7 uh, sets and if you have only one character to be uh, transmitted then you can finish it here. If you have multiple characters then you can go to step 5 and this can continue until all the characters has been transferred. So we will see an example. Write a program for 8051 to transfer the letter A. So here in this case we have only one character which is A to be transmitted. We have the baud rate 4800 uh, and this should be A should be transferred continuously. Okay. So baud rate we know. Uh, T mode register, we know what the value should be 20H. Baud rate, uh, we know for 4800. So, 28800 divided by 4800 will give you a value which is uh, 6. So, TH1 should be set with the value minus 6. You can write it, uh, write the equivalent hex also if you want. Otherwise, you can just write minus 6 which will give, which will be the uh, decimal value. Then SCON should be loaded with the value 50H. Uh, the timer should be set uh, started by setting uh, TR1 uh, so that the timer will start and then SBUF will be loaded with the character which is A and then you have to uh, wait for uh, ti uh, to be equal to 1 so you can also clear uh, okay in this particular case uh, the ti is cleared after this particular statement you can also uh, clear it before and then wait for uh, ti to be equal to 1 so this is continuously transmitted by using a s jump so another program is transfer yes so you have three characters y e and s uh, baud rate is given 9600 it is 8 bit data one stop bit uh, 8 bit data one stop bit means mode 1 uh, so like always we uh, load the t mode with 20h th1 is uh, loaded with the value 28,000 divided by 9,600. So, that will give you minus 3. And SCON is loaded with the value 50H. Then, the timer is started using set B, TR1. Now, he, you have 3 characters. So, each character should be transmitted. Uh, you must wait for the TI to be equal to 1 in each case. And then only start the transmission of the next character. So that's why we are writing that transmission, serial transmission, that as a subroutine. So here move A, comma Y, then call the subroutine. So what will you have in the subroutine? Subroutine will have this uh, value transferred to S buff, then wait for TI to be equal to 1. Then clear TI once uh, TI becomes equal to 1, clear TI and then return. So next E will be transferred. Wait for TI to be equal. That is successful transfer of E. So we'll make TI equal to 1. Then clear the TI and go back to transfer S. So then come back to the uh, subroutine and transfer S and return. So, uh, after transferring Y, E, S, then jump again. So, again, the next 
y e s will be transferred so this will happen continuously so this is how you serially transfer the uh, data so that is summarized here so the byte character should be transmitted uh, should be written into xpuff register the start bit is transferred the 8 bit character is transferred one bit at a time and then the stop bit is transferred so that is what happens uh, during the transmission so you have the character written in s buff first start bit then the 8 bit then the stop bit the last uh, when the stop bit comes in ti flag will be uh, equal to 1 so 8051 understands that the transmission is complete uh, so by observing ti so ti becomes equal to 1 and then s buff will be loaded with the next character not before that only after ti becomes equal to 1 s buff can be loaded with another character Now, after SBUF is loaded with another character, the TI flag should be uh, cleared. That is using clear TI. And again, we will be waiting for the TI flag to be equal to 1. So, why, why do we insist that only when TI is equal to 1, then uh, only we should transfer uh, uh, SBUF with the new value because otherwise the whole transfer will not take place and a portion of the data that is to be transmitted will be lost. So, the complete data will not, will not be uh, transferred write the SBUF uh, before TI is equal to 1. <laughs> now that is the transmission side. In order to receive the T mode register is again loaded with 20 hash. TH1 is loaded with the word rate. is gone with 50. TR1 is loaded uh, to 1 to start the timer that much is the same in the case of transmit and receive now in the receive ri is cleared by clear ri then ri flag is monitored uh, using jnb ri comma uh, that location to see if the entire character has been received only if uh, the entire character has been received after the stop bit only, uh, RI flag will be set to 1. So, when RI is raised, SBUF has the byte. That is, the data has been transferred to the SBUF of the receiver. Uh, so, when RI equal to 1, we know that the data is now in the SBUF. And uh, in order to receive the next character, go back to step 5. So, that is the transmitter and receiver. So, transmitter side, we are observing TI, which will be made equal to 1 by 8051 after the successful transmission of data. In the receiver end, the RI will be raised when the uh, total bits has been received successfully and the data has been moved into the SPAF. So, otherwise, the T mode value, the TH1 value, the SCON value, uh, all those are the same in the case of transmission and reception. So, write a program for 8051 to receive. So, uh, earlier on we were uh, talking about transmission. Now, it is receive the data serially, put them in P1 set 
the moderated 2,800 8 bit data, one stop bit. So, 8 bit data, one stop bit just means that uh, it is mode 1. So, that is uh, 50H should be loaded uh, to SCON. Uh, 4,800 is the baud rate. So, we know 28,800 divided by 4,800 will give you 6. So, minus 6 should be loaded into TH1 models. Uh, and T mode is always in um, auto reload mode, timer 1. So, 20H. So, this much is common for all the programs. Then, set bit TR1. So, we are starting the timer. Then, this is the reception, receiver side. So, we will be checking RI to be equal to 1. Whether the successful reception has happened, whether you have the data in the SBUF. So, when RI is equal to 1, then it will come out of the loop here. And uh, you have the data in SBUF, which will be moved to the accumulator. And here, the question is, put the data in P1, port P1. So, now you have the data in accumulator that is moved to P1. Then, clear RI and repeat. So, that is reception of data.